This week we are beginning our back to school series and the topic of absenteeism and attendance is a big concern. The school district of Beloit has seen low attendance numbers since the COVID-19 pandemic. That's right. We want to show you this graph. Now during the pandemic attendance dropped to just above 80%. Yeah, and across the last four school years, they've seen that percentage rise by 7%, but it's still far from where they want to be. And for the first time, they're actually implementing a new attendance initiative to fill those empty classroom seats and raise that attendance percentage. Now, I actually got to learn what that is and the root of some of these issues. Take a look. We haven't really implemented anything like this. For the first time ever, the School District of Beloit is implementing a district-wide attendance initiative. I am here at Converse Elementary School with the School District of Beloit, and as you can see, they already have their attendance goal posted. For this coming school year, district-wide, that's 95%. Their overall goal, to have increased attendance, not perfect attendance. It's based on improving attendance because you know, we're meeting students where they're at. And sometimes the younger you are, the attendance is not y you, you know, it's your parents that are driving that. And to reach that, they are motivating students through district-wide attendance competitions. Last year, our grade levels um, were in a little competition with one another. Starting in January, we, we posted um, percentages for each grade level at the end of each week and had little traveling trophies, and the kids were very excited to find out which grade level would win that at the end of the week. Like other districts across the U.S., the COVID-19 pandemic exasperated a lot of issues with absenteeism. COVID really did have a big impact on us. Um, our attendance was way down, of course. We, we were out of school for quite a long time during COVID, as were many school districts. During COVID, we found that a lot of our older students were responsible for taking care of their younger um, siblings, and so we still see a lot of that going on. Since then, attendance has been an issue. There is physical health, um, but there's also mental health issues. We have transportation barriers in the school district of Beloit, and, and we have families that don't see attendance as being important. So in times like these, districts have to become creative in their approach to ensure no classroom seat is left empty. We're not just working with them, you know, between 7.30 and 3.30. We're trying to get them whatever they need in the home as well. District social workers work with families to find out where the root of attendance issues lies. The main ones, transportation issues and homelessness. School buses only pick up students within a specific mile radius. For other students, the district can provide city bus tokens free of charge. And over the summer, they purchased a new district van to solely pick up students who may have issues at home and also introduce the walking school bus for those who live close by. Um, starting in the beginning of the school year, um, right into that first week of school, we'll be having um, one of our staff members walk around our neighborhood and then meet kids at the corner. Homelessness is also an issue the district observes in the city of Beloit. You know, homeless looks very different nowadays. It's not necessarily somebody sitting on a street corner. It could be that you're doubled up in your grandparents' home or you're living with your sister or somebody who's not your parents. The district shares that meeting families where they are at without judgment is crucial. Latronda has a daughter in fourth grade with Beloit. She shares why parents should be upfront with any situation. No, you don't know what's going on at home because it's like um, unforeseen things always happen. When COVID hit, it was very hard for them to get back on schedule. It was hard for them to focus. It was hard for them to understand that school is very important, that education is important. We just want your kids to be at school. We want them here to learn. We want to help you connect with the right resources so that we can help your child learn their best. This year, for the first time, the school district of Beloit will also start their new digital communication with parents by sharing text messages and voicemails with parents twice a month on research and strategies to improve attendance. Now, classes for Beloit start on Tuesday, September 3rd.